What's going on team? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another episode of the Stephen Adrota Glory. And in this one, we're going to be making it one mission to make it into the top six. We weren't able to do it in the last episode. We had that game against Liverpool where they did beat with 2-0. Alisson pulling off some unreal saves, especially that one with his head. I've seen nothing like it. And in regards to things that I've seen nothing like is these fixtures that we've got. Look at the state of this. So we've got Sheffield United up first. Watford, then Leicester. We've got a game against Everton, which is going to be massive because they're in that sixth position. So if we can beat Everton, I think we'll be able to take that sixth place. Well, then we've got a game against Leicester and Watford. Like, come on. That is absolutely ridiculous. The only thing I can think with this, though, is if we can beat Watford and Leicester here, we can beat them again when we play them for a second time in the month of December. Still, though, absolutely ridiculous. I am also going to be making it my mission to get Super Semenyo at the top of that goal scorer list. He is currently on eight goals, so only two goals behind the likes of Sterling and Lawson. So I think he could do it. A couple of hat tricks in this episode. Easy, easy for him. When he's on Super Semenyo, when he's on form, or when he becomes Super Semenyo, I should say, and he's in form, he's bagging goals all the time for us. So I think... He should be going for that top goal scorer in this episode as well. But just before we do get into this game against Sheffield United, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely crazy. But if it is your first time on the channel and you do go on to enjoy this episode, hit that subscribe button. It would be absolutely amazing if we could hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. But enough about that. We're going to get into this press conference. We don't do them that often, so we'll see what they've got to ask. Is it Hi, going to be guys, anything important? Probably not. Time, but come on, then what you got? forward on paper it looks like Sheffield and Stevenage aren't similar in terms of ability they're always asking with stuff like this I'm sure Sheffield are in like 14th or 15th place it's ridiculous man we're just going to focus on playing well though like we always do these questions I hope they're going to be sorting them out for FIFA 21 I hope there's going to be a bit more variety it's too it's just samey it's just samey that's the only way I can put it it's just so repetitive right it's our responsibility to try I didn't even read that question there what you got? You've had a mixed bag of results recently. We have. That is fair. You'll see what we're made of, though. We are going to be playing the second team in this game against Sheffield. I reckon they'll do it. We've got Ferreira up top, Iwusu on the wing. And we've got the likes we of Carbonero and Saka as well can come on. So I think the lads should be able to do it. Jones is going to be getting some game time as well. I will probably be playing Palacios in the centre of the park to kick things off. Because he is mourning about game time. So is Iwusu. And like I've said a good few times, we'll kind of have him leaving. He's a star man. He's up to an 87 now. That is absolutely ridiculous. Super Semenyo's up to a 78. Graven Birch and Longstaff, they're both up to a 77. That's not too bad at all. It does seem crazy as well to have a Wusu and Saka in the second team and Ferreira for that matter when they're some of the highest rated players in the team. So I don't know whether that'll look to mix things up a little bit. Gelhard, he did play absolutely fantastic in the last episode, though, so I don't realistically want to be changing him too much. I'm just torn because both Gelhard and Bera are got potential to be special, whereas Iwusu and Saka don't. So it is, it's a bit of a what to do, what shall you do? But either way, we're going to get into this game against Sheffield United. Look for the first three points of the episode. I'm hoping Ferreira is going to be able to bag some goals in this one as well. But without further ado... Let's get into it. Away to Sheffield then. And if they play anything like they have been in real life, you know for a fact this is going to be a difficult game. It is going to be the second team, like I say. I have decided to play a double J instead of Palacios. His fitness was a concern. I don't want to be absolutely knackered with the game against Watford. I think it's Watford. Could be Leicester. I can't remember now. We're playing them that many times in this episode. I can't remember. But, like I say... I want to keep him fit for that, so we've went with Double J. I think he'll be able to do the business. The lads having a little chat with each other. How I sorted out. Keep the goals out for us. I need bother, mate. What am I going on about? But there's the Hay Bay Bunch. Misengo and Millet. Hoping them lads are going to be able to boss the centre of the park. We've got Saka. And then we've got a Wusu on the wings. Going to be looking at Ferreira as well for some goals. 100%. Let's have a look at their team. It's looking like a lot of regens here, like Slater, is he? Parkhouse, Vinicius, either that or it's a lot of players that just haven't got face scans. That's probably what it is. But how things can change in the space of a couple of years for Premier League teams. Crazy times. Get the handshakes out the way and let's get into this game. Come on, lads. Parkhouse in the middle of the pitch. Parkhouse. <laughs> Terrible. 
There you go, though. Jones to Millet. Millet running at them a bit here. Cutting it back. Oh, yeah, Jones. Come on. Capitalise while he's on the deck, man. Ricky Jade Jones. Plays it. Masengo. Masengo. Through. Ferreira. Come on. Come on, son of the bar. Get it back in the box. How close, man. How close. Morrison. Oh, he's done us there. Vinicius. He's played it across. Bazunu. What a save, son. Masengo. Masengo. Through. Fritzen just brought him on. Go off the post again. Come on, it's went in the back of the net. Yes, it is. Oh, God, I thought that was offside yet again. But Jesus Ferreira, it's going down as an own goal, apparently. I don't care, though, because we're 1-0 up. I have brought Fritzen on. we put Ferreira in the centre attack and mid position. Carbonero's come on on the right-hand side, and we've got Saka on the left now. It's made an instant impact. Keeper, absolute nightmare for you there, mate. Absolute nightmare. Come on, Ferreira. To a Fritzen. What can you do for a Fritzen? Have you got anything? He's got a cheeky ball to Carbonero. Carbonero is playing it in. Ferreira for his second. That's how you get your second goal. He absolutely blazes it. Absolutely blazes it. Come on, son. He definitely plays a lot better in the centre of the park, like in that centre attack and mid position. I think this might be the lineup for the second team. Have Fritzen up top and then. Ferreira in that centre attack and mid. But look at that, man. No chance at all. Need to have another look. Absolutely smashes it with a purpose. Come on, 2 0 up. Balls through. Bazunu with a great save there. The wild one picking that up. They will go then, first win of the episode. I'm quite happy with that. Sheffield fans, they're not very happy though, are they? They're going absolutely insane. I would be with that performance. But Ferreira. He should be having two goals there. I don't know why that went down as an own goal, but which was pretty harsh. But I was quite happy with his performance. It was really good. But there you go. 2-0. Ferreira. Kind of getting two goals. So after that game, then we've been able to jump ahead of Liverpool. So we're now in seventh. Getting that top six is looking more and more achievable. We're going to get some training for the lads here as well. See what they can do. What you got for, lads. Come on. Hughes getting an A. I'm going to have to have a look at Hughes after we've done this. Dest, getting a C. Nearly up to a 79, though. Juarez, he's nearly up to a 73. Got Jones, nearly up to a 77. Van der Voort, he's pushing for that 80. But he's not quite there yet. Only getting a D there, which isn't great. Let's have a look at this. Hughes, I think he's in the first team. I think he is in the first. No, he is not. No, he isn't. So, maybe we'll have to up update him. We'll not have to update him. We'll, we'll have to put him into the first team. I mean, 64 rated overall, 81 to 87 potential. Not bad at all. 750,000. I can't imagine we'd ever use him, though. That's the only thing that puts us off putting him into the first team. We'd need to loan him out. I mean, we're all very close to January, so we could potentially put him in the first team, then loan him out, which could be the way to go. But we're all going to be looking to get into this game against Watford now. I think I'm going to sim it with the first team. We'll see what the lads can do. So, uh, Super Semenyo, we need you to be bagging some goals here, mate. What you got for we? Come on then, Watford. They've drawn, won and drawn the last few games. Oh, are we going to get another victory, though? We've beat them 2-1, Super Semenyo, with both goals. Shall we do it? Shall we do it even though we've simmed it? Oh, Super Semenyo. Yes, there you go. There you go. And after that, let's see what that does to the table. Only one point behind Everton now. And Spurs, for that matter. Could we make it at the top five? That would be crazy if we could. We'll get some more training for the lads here before we get into this game against Leicester. I am going to be playing that one 100%. So we'll sim it again. Van der Voort, still not getting the best of ratings, but look how close he is to an 80 now. I think he'll be decent at an 80 overall. Hughes pushing for that 65. Dest getting in another A. I think he got an A. Did he get an A the last time? No, it was Hughes that got the A. But any, either way, he's getting nearly up to a 79 as well. The lads are doing well. We're now going to be getting in this game against Leicester. And I think if we can beat Leicester, we could potentially, how crazy is this, go into the top five. What have you got for Leicester City? What are we in this one? 
But like I say, it is the first team that's playing in it. Super Semenyo bagging two goals in that game against Watford. I'm hoping he can do the same again because if he can get the top of that goal scorer list, that'll be absolutely fantastic. Bloody hell, Schmeichel is still playing there. He must be getting on in this now. Leicester fans, they're looking happy at the minute. I don't know if they will be at the end of this. I'm interested to see what type of team Leicester's got. Madison's still there. Iose Perez is still there. Fair enough. You know for a fact it's going to be a, a difficult game. But who's this? Burn Gua? Burn Gua? I don't know. Is that a real player? Let us know in the comments. Is that a real player? I think it could be a regen though. But he's bagged a couple of goals for himself. He's going up against that man. It's going to be going up against Super Semenyo. You know for a fact he's going to be going for some goals in this one. Like, I am just playing the standard first team, so there's been no changes made whatsoever. But I am going to look to bring on the likes of Iwusu, possibly Saka, and Ferreira is going to be getting some game time as well. Isaac looks like he's playing for them as well, which is pretty crazy. I think he's got no right potential on this as well, so he'd probably be difficult to go up against. We might as well have a look at the team. So we've got Schmeichel in goal. Deshiglio, Mitrovic, Aido, and someone else. Pratt, Mendy, and Madison. We've got Perez, Isaac, and that Brenuga, or whatever you call him. But Isaac's up top for them. No more with Jamie Vardy. But what they don't have is our lineup. So we've got some absolute beasts in our team. Matty and Graven Birch are going in the centre of the park. Bitter, Palacios, and Gelhart, who's been playing amazing. Super Semenyo. So let's see what they've got for us. See if we can pick up another three points. Ortega. Played that ball. Palacios. Oh, he's just done him. Oh, how embarrassing for you, mate. Let's do it a bitter. It's kind of killed the attack, though. But bitter. He's on one here. Bitter is on one. What can he do? He's going to finesse it. Bitter. Bitter. Come on, son. What a goal. That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't too impressed with him in the last episode, but... Come on, son, when you're doing things like that, you cannot not start him. What a goal, son. He was on a tear here. Just cut it back. Bit of finesse. There you go, Schmeichel. Absolute, absolutely no chance. But there you go, 1-0 up. This could be the third win. Could be picking up nine points so far. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, lads. Come on. Berenguer, apparently he's called. There you go, and you learn something new every day. Played it through to Madison. Isaac, what a shot. Blocked by Brown. Come on, Des, not good enough away. Burying Gear to Mendy. Madison, back to him. He's a decent player, apparently. But not when you're coming up against our defence. Palacios, cutting it back. Palacios is going to look to send. Super Semenyo, it's through. Super Semenyo is going to be looking for another goal. And he gets it. Was there ever any doubt? Was there ever any doubt? Oh, Super Semenyo. Oh, Super Semenyo. What a ball from Palacios, though. Absolutely fantastic. Super Semenyo doing what he does best. Smashing that ball in the back of the net. Schmeichel has had an absolute nightmare today. Like, absolute nightmare. Oh, well. 2-0 up there. Eh? Whoa, Jesus. He's right in your face. He's, whoa. <laughs> yes. Dest. Getting that off him though, Matty has played it a bitter. Come on, bitter. Little bit of magic. There you go. Not the best of balls to Super Semenu there, like. He's played it at Palacios. Oh, it's went to Gelhart. I didn't think it was going to. Gelhart. Back out to bitter. Super Semenu. Super Semenu makes it 3 0. That's his 12th goal now. Super Semenu is now on 12 goals. Surely he's got to be top goal scorer. But we'll kind of forget it. Oh, Super Semenyo. Bit out with a nice little ball, though. Semenyo controlled it well. Slots it away. Slotting it away, son. There you go, 3 0 up. Semenyo's going to be going for that hat trick. You've got to believe it. You've got to believe it. All right, Bidai, you've played absolutely fantastic this game. Matty. Ball through to Super Semenyo. I'm going to be selfish because I'm looking for that hat trick for Super Semenyo. Come on, son. He makes it 4 0. Super Semenyo with his hat trick. I said, you know, he can bag hat tricks when he's on form. And Super Semenyo is certainly on form for another time. Come on. 
Oh, Super Samir. Yo, well, this was too easy for him, this. Too easy for him. I think Leicester need to be looking at a new goalkeeper like for Schmeichel. He's not cutting it anymore, like, is he? He's not cutting it anymore. Bitter. Oh, he's just passed him. Come on, Bitter. Come on, son. Cutting it back in. Bitter. It's out. Palacios! Thought he would have got on the score sheet, but unfortunately not. Again, though, Bitter has played so well in this game. That was well wide from Palacios. He's much better than that. Come on, son. After that amazing performance from Semenyo, let's see if he has made it at the top of the goal scorer list. Let's have a look. He's on equal with Lawson. But how things can change, look at that, man. I mean, Super Semenyo, he's played less games as well. So in this next one against Everton, could he bag himself another couple of goals and go top? I'm hoping he can. Because it is going to be a difficult game against Everton, even though they have dropped down to 8th place now. So you've got Spurs in 5th on 39 points. But we're only 2 points behind them. We'll get some more training for the lads here. I'm hoping Van der Voort is going to be hitting that 80. Come on, son. I know you've got it in you. And that's exactly what he's got. Is it going to go up? It hasn't even budged. That did not even move. What, e what even happened there? I do, oh my god man oh well oh well we have also got a scout report in from youth scout so let's see what he's got for her anything decent oscar clark waste of time he peter morgan nah he's too too low 69 94 who's this kid Six hundred thousand. callum green thank you very much i will take you son and who's this last lad no, let's have a look at this Callum Green kid, though. We'll get rid of some of these. We don't need to know any of that, man. Callum, Callum Green, eh? Let's have a look. He's someone that plays on the right-hand side. I don't know whether I just sign him up straight away. Where is he? There he is. 62. 62 overall, which is a bit of a nightmare. Sure, we'll sign him up anyway, though, and I might just loan him out. I'm going to. I'm going to promote him straight away. And we'll, I want to have a proper look at this kid. Callum Green. Ho, ho, ho. Is he going to be potential to be special? It's always amazing when you see someone that has got like a massive uh, value straight away before you've even done anything. Only shown great potential. How oh, where, son? I was expecting more than that. Three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, medium low work rates. Oh, it's it's not, not amazing like sprint speed isn't up there. Like strength, shock and stamina is not great. I mean, I know he's young. He's 17 years old. But yeah, I'm going to be straight away getting him on the loan list. Sure, at least some teams will come in for him. We can get him back and we can always look to sell him on. I definitely got more excited about that than I thought it was going to be, which is a bit of a nightmare. But we're all going to be moving on. Thanks, boss. Thanks, boss, indeed. We've already got a loan deal in for him. Spot at Rotterdam. We're going to accept that. See you later, mate. Go and get some game time. Come back to it. Become an absolute legend. There you go. What's this? Saka, I've been in pretty good form recently. I'll consider it, mate. He will be. I think he will be playing in this one. Can we play the first team? I reckon we could, but I might change things up with Gelhart and Bitter. I mean, they are still pretty decent on stamina, but I think the likes of Saka will be getting some game time, even though we're all going to be playing Leicester again right around the corner. It's going to have to be the second team against Leicester. And if the first team can beat them 4-0... Can the second team do the business? I would like to think so. But we'll get in this game against Everton and hopefully be picking up another three points because if we do and somehow Spurs go on to lose their game, we'll be taking that fifth position, which would be absolutely fantastic. Like I say, though, I will be maybe mixing things up a little bit. Palacios is feeling it a little bit as well, but I'm going to have to be careful because we can't play too many of the second team when we've got that game against Leicester just around the corner. So it's going to be interesting. We'll just see how things go. But come on, Everton. We're at home in this one as well. I know for a fact the lads are going to be wanting to put in another great performance. We're going to be looking at Super Semenyo to bag himself a couple more goals, take that top spot from Larson. Everton, looking dangerous. It's through. How where, man? You've got to be joking me. It's Fabian Delph. Puts them 1-0 up. You've got to be kidding me. We've just crumbled straight away. How where, man? We've been playing absolutely fantastic. But then here, look at the state of this. Marlin, I think that was, that played Delph in. 
We went 1-0 down. Goal, we? Oh, we're going to have to come back in this one. I cannot be taking a loss. We cannot be losing. Not when we're so close to fifth place, like... Matty. Matty with another mistake. He's making a lot of mistakes, this lad, like... And the through, it's Marlon. No, he's dangerous. Luckily, getting a block in. But Matty Longstaff, he's making far too many mistakes at the minute. He made the mistake in the last episode that cost with that goal against Liverpool. And he's, he's... I don't know. I'm just not feeling it at the minute with him. I'm really not. I'm good at I'm saying that, but... There you go. Nice shot of Del Sauce there. There you go. There's a treat for you. <laughs> Gelhardt. Play it to Matty. Come on, Semenyo's just waiting for that perfect ball, which he's delivered. It's just down to Semenyo now. Super Semenyo equalises forward. Come on, son. Super Semenyo. Oh, Super Semenyo. Exactly. Come on. What a ball from Palacios. Semenyo, never in doubt. Equalises forward. The game is back on. The game is back on. Pickford, knee transmate. Marlon has been able to get in behind you. Brown made a massive mistake there. Dest has only cleared it as far as Delft. Not again. You've got to be joking me. Fabian Delft twice, man. Come on. That was just shocking defending, I've got to admit. That was just diabolical defending. But we've just equalised. And then this happens, man. Brown did make a massive mistake. Ball away wasn't great. Matty Longstaff yet again. There was just no defending the lad there. Fabian Delph strikes again. <sighs> We're back to losing. Oh, ball through, not... No! Just before the half. And Everton have went 3-1 up. Dowell. I don't believe this, like... I thought it was a shoe-in that would just be smashing these. Especially when we played so well against Leicester. But this is a nightmare for the fans as well. This is a home game for we. I'd brought on Ferreira and Saka. I thought, oh, we should be decent with them. But no. We're going to have an uphill struggle here if we're going to be pulling two goals back. I don't think we've got it in to win the game, but we're going to have to try and get back on level terms. Oh, it's through Marlin. Cheeky. I honestly thought that was four for them there. I thought that was the fourth. Ridiculous that, like. We've just not been... Just not been on the game in this match, like. Palacios. The sends Super Semenyo. I don't know if we've left it too late here. Super Semenyo turns him. He's going to take the shot himself. Pickford gets a save, man. Well, there you go. There you go. 3-1. Absolutely pathetic performance from the lads there. I thought the game was back on when Semenyo bagged a goal, but obviously not. Just crumbled. Everton have brought her back down to earth, so it's going to be interesting to see what that's done to the table. And as I expected, we've moved down to eighth place, but Everton, Spurs and Liverpool, the only two points ahead of us. So if we can win these next two games, I think we'll be in a decent position going into January. I am just going to sim them. I'm going to go with the first team against Leicester, see if we can smash them 4-0 yet again. They have lost the past two games and drawn against Cardiff City. Surely the lads can do the business for we here. Come on, I know it's Christmas Day, they're not going to be happy. It's a 1-1 draw. I suppose it isn't a loss which is fair enough, but how where, man, lads? Come on. They should have been beating them there. Le Leicester have obviously had a chip on the shoulder about that 4-0 victory that we got. But a Wusu complaining, I want to play him more. Jesus Christ. If it's not him, it's bitter. If it's not bitter, it's Palacios. This is absolutely ridiculous, this, man. Absolutely ridiculous. It will go bitter. Oh, he's not complaining for a change. I'm proud of your son. There you go. He's starting to grow up a little bit. We'll get some training for the lads here as well before we do get into this game against Watford. We'll see what the lads can do in that. Van der Voort, is he going to get that 80? Yes, he has. Van der Voort is now 80 overall. Absolutely fantastic. Hughes getting another A. Dest is up to a 79. The lads have done pretty well there, like I must admit. Oh, Everton must have drawn their game. So if we can pick up the three points here and Everton don't win. Oh, you never know. You never know. We'll get seventh. Again, though, not quite top six. Thought we could have got fifth at one point, but obviously not. We'll attend this press conference. See what they've got to ask with. Thanks for joining us.
Oh, on paper, they look very similar. Oh, we'll focus on playing well. Deja vu here. It's our responsibility to try. I only ever do this to keep the morale up. I think that's why anyone does this now. A great heated encounter the last time. Oh, we're going to be... We'll, we'll, we'll try to win. I'll not be too cocky. Because going into it too cocky and they'll be like, Oh, the beat you. Hey. That's not going to be great, is it? Okay. We're all going to be going in with a second team. We'll go in with the second team. Yes, we will. How are lads? I'm hoping that they can pick up the win here. How are Come on, they've drawn, lost and drawn. After we drew the last game, though, I'm not too hopeful with this one. And Watford have beaten with 2-1. You've got to be joking with... Joking with, joking me. Saw with the two goals. Millet picking up a goal. Longstaff and Palacios did come off the bench, but it wasn't good enough. Well, that's a nightmare, ain't it? That is a nightmare. And it looks like the next game is going to be in the Cup against Sheffield Wednesday. There you go. What did I tell you? Palacios is now mourning that he's not getting selected enough. You've still got a place in the squad, mate. But how are you can't expect to play every single game, man? Green has been loaned out, so that's decent for her. Well, there you go. Let's have a look at the table. We'll see what the table is looking like just before we do end this episode. What a way to end it, though. So, eighth place, Everton. They didn't win their game. So, we could have went into seventh if we'd beat Watford there. Bit of a nightmare. We'll have a look at some of the games that we're all going to be played in the next episode. So, what is the January transfer window going to have in store for us? So, we've got a game against Derby. Massive game against City. We've got Newcastle United and a game against Chelsea. It's going to be a big, big episode, that, like, because we've currently got no money, I don't think, in the budget. We're having 169000 so unless we sell some players on, we're not going to be looking to bring anyone else in. I might look to potentially loan some players in, and not that we realistically need too many people, to tell you the truth. I mean, Jones is decent, Saka and Iwusu, Ferreira, I'm really happy with him. I mean, Matty Longstaff hasn't played amazing. But I'm not going to sell him. I'm not going to be selling him. But still, he has been making quite a few mistakes. But I mean, look at Palacios. He's absolutely knackered now. But he wants to be playing all the time. Get a grip, mate. Just get a grip. There you go. Unfortunately, we well, haven't been able to end the episode on a win. Which is a bit of a nightmare. But there you go. We're all going to be ending it there. So if you have enjoyed it, drop a like. Like I mentioned in the start of the episode... If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It'd be amazing if we can reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. But, as always, I'll see you in the next one.